Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how to use layouts in Qt. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, you can use uh, spacers, splitters, uh, tabs, and uh, buddies with layout in Qt. So, I have created this sample project, and now I'm going to go to main window.ui file here. And what I want to do here is I want to uh, take a label from here and I want to take a line added from here okay so I can just select them both and from here also uh, you can see some of the options at the top also so I can uh, you know arrange them horizontally by using this one and I can uh, arrange them vertically by using uh, this button. So let's arrange them horizontally by using this button. And you can see uh, these are, uh, you know, arranged horizontally, right? Now, uh, what I want to do next is I want to take some uh, buttons also. And I want to do the same. So I will take uh, two uh, push button. And let's say this text is somebody's name, okay? and uh, name this should be name and uh, then what i want to do is this will be for example somebody uh, gives his name and presses okay or he wants to quit the application for example uh, quit okay and then i will select these two buttons and i will uh, give a horizontal layout to this also right now i can select both of uh, these uh, uh, layouts and I can uh, arrange them vertically right so select both of them and then just choose this layout vertically and they will be arranged in uh, a vertical manner right now for example I want these two buttons little bit on the right hand side of uh, the you know these this uh, box so what I can do here is there is an option called horizontal spacer and vertical spacer right so as the name suggests horizontal spacer is to give horizontal space so just uh, select this horizontal spacer and just uh, pick and place uh, just at the left hand side of this button okay and you can see uh, this horizontal spacer gives uh, some space and uh, you know this squeezes uh, this two buttons at the right hand side right so whenever you uh, select this horizontal spacer this also has some property and you can see uh, the size type is expanding you can uh, keep it uh, you know minimum or you can keep it preferred or uh, you can uh, keep it uh, maximum or whatever from here okay even fixed okay and then you can give the size uh, to it whenever you keep it fixed okay for now i'm going to choose it as for example uh, preferred here so you can see uh, this spacer allows us to give some space in the layout whenever we are using the layout in the same way you can use the vertical uh, layout to give vertical uh, spaces right in your layout okay now this is uh, one of my layout now what I want to do is I want to uh, pick and place some uh, buttons so I will just give uh, one or two buttons one and two and for example three buttons and I will select all these three buttons and I will apply a vertical layout to them now what I want to do is I want to uh, arrange these uh, two layouts one for button and one for uh, the this uh, you know line edit and text in a splitter using a splitter so what i can do is i can just select these two layouts by just selecting them like this and then right click on them and then choose this layout and then use this option which says layout horizontally in splitter okay so this will uh, you know give a horizontal layout to both of them with a splitter and the, the splitter is uh, as the name suggests splitter it's helped you to split your two layouts so i'm just going to choose this option and uh, now what i want to do is i want 
to just uh, give one layout to them because I haven't given any layout to my main window right so I can uh, just go here and for example I want to give uh, this time vertical layout so layout vertically to both of them right now don't worry about the size policy here I don't want to show the size policy but the splitter here right so I will save my code and run it and let's see what happens once it runs so now my app is running and now you can see this is our first layout and this is our second layout and in between them you whenever you hover over on this uh, you know invisible line here you will be able to see your mouse changes to the splitter kind of thing so you can move your splitter by using this line right so a splitter is something uh, like helps you to you know manage your layouts like uh, this is a splitter so this splits uh, between uh, these properties and uh, this uh, design view so this can be a splitter right so this is the same splitter as this you have you are seeing here so this is how you can use splitter there is one more option here which you can use is and that option is from here so you can see there is an option called added buddies right so you just cho need to choose this option from here and then you can choose the buddies so whenever you choose the buddies as the name suggests they become uh, buddies so one and two so this uh, line text and name becomes buddy buddy means whenever you uh, you know uh, highlight the name it's going to uh, you know give this uh, you know highlight on the line added also so this is a buddy mode so you can give the buddy mode generally to the labels associated with the line text or you can uh, give these two as buddies you can make these two as buddies right so this is the buddy uh, you know uh, added view okay so I'm going to go to my uh, normal edit widget view and the last thing which I want to show you is the tab option so just click this um, option which says edit tab order so just click this and now you can see uh, every widget which you have in your window have some number so this is the tab order in which uh, whenever you press your tab button your uh, you know highlight of your cursor will go there so first it will go to your line edit because these two things are buddy so they are you know highlighted as one option right so that's why i have uh, made them buddy so that uh, these can be treated as one option right now second is this one third tab is uh, this one so whenever i press first up tab it will go here and then here 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 according to the number i can change this ordering of the tab by just uh, double clicking on them so you can see the tab order is changing from here okay in here also it's changing so you can just play with uh, them just by just clicking them and you can even change the tab order for uh, uh, these things okay so this is how you can use spacers, splitters, tabs and buddies in uh, Qt. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.